me attack, baby I'm bad I just wanna get caught up in this life, I'm crazy, I'm mad Do it no cap, only got one so you better go live it up, cash in the bag Stadium pack, baby I'm bad good you guys it's your girl cc aka cecilia robinson aka cc reacts and i want to thank each and every one of you for tuning in with me today before we get started i need for you guys to like subscribe and share the video <laughs> also please hit that bell so you know when i'm coming on listen i'm gonna ask you guys i really really need y'all to share the videos youtube be on so much bs with me hiding the content people don't know i post it share the videos you know what i'm saying be a friend let people know, you know, what's going on. Also, I want to say this. Um, I heard you guys request. I listened and I've developed something brand new for you guys. The How Did I Become a Criminal series is now available to see have members only. You guys have been rocking with me. Y'all have followed me through my whole prison journey. Now, hear the story on how all of that um, came to life. How did I take those steps in order for me to go to prison? Yes, it's available now on the Sea Hive. This is the first of several series that's coming to the Sea Hive. Listen, it's some fire content, and you guys will not be disappointed. So anybody who hasn't joined the Sea Hive, listen, if you want more stories from me, the Sea Hive is where you need to be at. And if you want to hear how I end up going to prison, check out how I became a criminal. Sign up. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. And once again, thank each and every one of you. Now I want y'all to sit back, relax, and enjoy this fire content, this fire episode, and y'all be smooth. Have a dope day. Y'all listen, um, after I got through putting, you know, um, these paws, these fluffers on the Lars, I felt good. I felt victorious. Um, I, I, I moved away from the bathroom area and I walked fast. I really didn't want to make eye contact with Jimmy because, you know, I just acted a fool up in her place of employment. Um, I grabbed my bags and I went out the door. I didn't want you me to see the smile on my face, but I felt good about myself. I knew that when I, I went to sleep um, that night, I was going to be able to sleep because I did my one too. You know what I'm saying? Um, I felt like I got my one. I felt like I got my get back. So I felt good on the inside part. Um, I'm walking down the street, I'm walking down Center Ave, and I'm trying to walk fast. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to lie to you. I know the loss. You know what I'm saying? She don't give up easy. Uh, <laughs> I knew that if that lady came up out of that subway and she seen me, that it was going to be on. So I'm trying to walk a little bit speedy. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm not going to try to front like, yeah, I, I walk slow. I didn't walk slow. I, I sped up. You know what I'm saying? Um, So I'm walking. and But, of course, my back is towards subway as i'm walking like traffic is going you know horns is blowing buses is passing but i hear this little sound do, 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 do. so like i know that sound y'all i knew that sound i knew that sound all too well it's the sound of all purpose shoes pounding the pavement you know what i'm saying it's the sound of sweet potatoes on concrete baby i turn around just in time to see dolores running up behind me you know what i'm saying um i wasn't gonna take off running this ain't that now i did i, I gotta be honest with y'all i did my one two up in that bathroom you know what i'm saying i put the boop, 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 i put the fluffers on her um but now we outside you know, these people don't know I just did nothing to you up in that bathroom. And once again, we outside, meaning we have an audience. So I'll be damned if I let a crackhead whoop me in front of the audience. Baby, this is my show. So I'm finna show up and show out. You know what I'm saying? I drop my bags and soon she run up. I boo. I'm talking about she boo. You know what I'm saying? She throw her stuff up. Baby, we get we get active. We get the tussling. We get the, look, we look like some tumbleweeds out there. We going at it, going at it, going at it, going at it. I'm talking about we we rumble 
from the sidewalk to the parking lot. We about Panera Bread. You know what I'm saying? People trying to get out their cars to go into these establishments. I'm talking about we all in between cars, on cars. We getting it. We getting it. Listen, it's some lady who uh um she walk around in Shady Side and she have a sign on her neck um that said Jesus saved souls. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if this lady homeless or not, but she's out there advocating for the Lord. This lady is outside. She see us thumping. She come over there trying to break it up. Um, like, like, don't you, you don't do this. Don't do this. God loves you. Jesus loves you. She's saying all this. Here's the thing. Um, ma'am, I understand the message that you got going on. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I know the Lord loves me. You know what I'm saying? I know he loves all of us. But here's the thing. If I'm thumping, do not, do not put your hands on me for the simple fact I'm already in tour with somebody. And if you trying to trying to break it up, I don't know whose side you on. You know what I'm saying? I, I think y'all trying to jump on me. So this lady, she trying to get in between and she grabbing me a little bit too hard. And when she grabbing me, the Lord's getting some licks off of me. You know what I'm saying? So I had no choice. But to defend myself against both of them. So I start thumping her too. Boop, boop, boop. You can get some too. Boop, 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 boop. This ain't that. You know what I'm saying? Other people inside the massage parlors and everything, they come out. Um, the, you know, the therapeutic the chicks, the ones, do, 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 the one who do the massages and everything. They come out. They trying to break us up too. You know what I'm saying? Once again, I'm hitting everybody who's touching me. I don't know who side y'all on. You know what I'm saying? You can talk to me verbally. But every time somebody touched me, I felt like the Lord's got another lick off of me. So I had to hit everybody. It just is what it is. Finally, they separate us. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, the Lord's called me. She said, you peanut head ass bitch, which I didn't like. Um, I tried to get her again. And I, 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 I think I said this before. Like, I don't care what you say to me. But if you call me peanut head... Um, I get offended. I don't know why. It's something about the word peanut and head put together. And you you calling my head this um, that that offends me. You know what I'm saying? So when she called me peanut head, I try to get her again. You know, but they wouldn't let me get at her. Wouldn't let me, let me get at her. Now, like I said, I done threw all my bags and stuff down. You know what I'm saying? So you got some good citizens in sh uh, Shady Side. You know, after I'm walking back and everything, I'm tired, I'm out of breath, I'm scratched up, all type of stuff. I'm walking back and I see a dude, uh, he he got like my shoes and stuff. Now my shoes is all out the bags and all this other stuff. The Lord, she walking in the same direction, but like she going out a different entrance. And she yelling stuff to me, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to ignore her because I really don't have no breath left in me. Um, I'm getting over to the dude and he got one shoe on the shoe box. It, like he only got the, the bottom part of the shoe box, no lid, one shoe in his hand, and he got the bag up under his arm, and he's trying to give me the, the shoe. You know what I'm saying? What the hell am I going to do with one shoe? Where's the other one? You know what I'm saying? Why are you giving me one shoe? Where's the other one? He say, she got the shoe. I see Dolores with my shoe, y'all. It's a pair of white ones. I see Dolores with my shoe running down the street. Just petty. You know what I'm saying? I tell him I don't want the shoe. Get away from me. I don't want the shoe. Um, I was irritated. Um, I, I didn't have nothing I had bought. I was I was annoyed. You know what I'm saying? Um, I get on my phone to call my, my daughter and tell my daughter what happened as I'm walking back to the center. Like people going back up into their businesses and everything. Dolores is long gone down the street. I was over it. I was over it. And please don't ask me how this lady got my shoe that quick. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe when, when the people was holding me and all that, she picked up my shoe. I don't know. You know, um, but I was tight. I was so tight. I was irritated. Um, I get to the center, and when I walk up in the center, like, I look like I have been in the fight. I got to be honest with you. I was just knowing that these people were going to question me up and down. Surprisingly, everybody acted as if, acted as if you know, they were excited to see me. Like, hey, Robin, say, how you doing? And all this other stuff. Nobody asked me about my appearance. Um, they, I, I took off my shoes and stuff, my regular routine. And everybody was just overly nice to me. You know what I'm saying? And in my head, I'm guessing they were overly nice to me. Because they probably were saying, oh, this hotel. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to lose my job. So everybody was just extra with me. Which I, I, I appreciated. Because I had been going through a lot up in that facility. I get upstairs and I want to take a shower. I go in my little closet and everything. Grab my stuff. Go get in the shower. 
So when I go get in the shower, I'm rethinking about this fight. You know what I'm saying? I was not upset about the fight. I got to be honest with you because I did my one-two. You know, I, I put, the, put the fluffers on a couple of more people. But in all in all, I had won. So I was satisfied with that. You know when you win a fight. I ain't one of those type of people that get beat up and say, oh, yeah, I won. Look what I did to you. I bet you felt me and all this. No. If I, if I feel like you got the best of me, I'm going to say it. You know what I'm saying? That's one of the things about me. I'm really going to keep it real how stuff, like, if if if, if stuff is, ain't right with me, it just ain't right. It is what it is. I, I can't win every fight, but I know I put I put them back boop, 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 on them. It is what it is. Um, So I'm, re, you know, rethinking about the fight in my head while I'm in the shower, and I'm thinking about my shoes, and I'm thinking about, you know, the money I had spent that day. Then I'm thinking about, where's my wallet? You know what I'm saying? I had my phone because I was on my phone telling my kids what happened. Where is my wallet? You know, um, I, I'll get out the shower and I'll hurry up, you know, dry off and everything. I go out there and I'm looking around the room. I don't have a wallet. Baby, when I'm out there showing my natural black ass, I done lost my wallet. Everything is in my wallet, y'all. My ID. All my money, all my money, my, my Carmax is in my wallet, my, 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 my medical card is in the wallet. Listen, everything, my whole life, my whole existence, my social, my birth certificate is in my wallet. Baby, my wallet was gone. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. And I don't have no more time to go out there and look for my wallet. So, look, I don't know what to do. Like, I feel so... I was, oh, oh, baby, listen, that's $5,000, that's $5,000, do you know what people do for $5,000, like, yo, I lost my whole wallet, y'all, I was blue, I was blue, and it's like, okay, okay, think, 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 I was sick, you know what I'm saying, I called my daughter, I say, you ain't gonna believe this, she like, what, what, what? I said, man, I lost my whole wallet with all my stuff in it. She's like, are you serious, Ma? I said, yeah, and I got to be honest with you. I ain't tell her how much money it was in there because I ain't need nobody saying, well, you should have sent that. I'm not sending you nothing. Damn it. Y'all got some money out there. Now, you you look. I'm just coming home. But she was like, Ma, why you ain't getting no lock and lock your stuff up in the lock and everything? I'm like, I know, but it's too late for sure to cut it with us. I'm broke. You know what I'm saying? So I, I get off the phone with her and I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think like, yo, I really need some money because I don't have a damn to my name. I'm going to have to replace all my stuff. Um, I can't tell them, you know, the reason why I lost my wallet. None of this stuff. So I'm sick. Y'all, I'm sick. So I get on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? And I got to be honest with y'all. I don't know if y'all do this, but I do this. I'm scrolling through my friends. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking, which one of my friends can I hit up? They know my situation. You know what I'm saying? Which one of my friends on my friend list that I'm cool with, that, you know, I know is doing financially good in life, can I hit up and tell them, yo, I need some bread? You know what I'm saying? So I'm going through my, my friend list, my friend list, my friend list, and something click in my head. D. Brooks exclusive. You know what I'm saying? Uh, D. Brooks, at that point in time, um, D. Brooks had went multi-platinum with for NBA Youngboy. Uh, uh, um, 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 he got a few songs. Um, I can't even think of the stuff right now. But his first album, when he went multi-platinum, Brooks produced it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I'm like, oh, let me hit Brooks up. Now, Brooks already had an attitude with me from before I went to jail. You know what I'm saying? Me and him was low-key beefing. That's all right, though. Friends beef. You know, I get on, I get in the, in the DM. Me and him not even following one another on uh, Instagram. I get in the DM. Hey, yo, I'm home. Check this out. Um, I need some money. He respond right back. You know what I'm saying? See, that's, that's how you know people beef. You know what I'm saying? Like this. He was fine right back. He, damn, G, you home? Like, how long you been home? I said, a few days. I say, look. I say, I'm in a, a tight situation. I need some money. You know what I'm saying? He, man, for sure. He was like, you was always looking out for me. You know, I'm going I'm to look out. He was, how much you need? What you need? I said, I need shoes. I need clothes. I said, I'm in the halfway house. I said, I need money in my pocket. I say, man, I'm just out here bad. And I was for a few minutes. You know what I'm saying? Because I lost my wallet. Um, he 
he tell me, he say, say less. He say, send me your info. He say, I'm a Western Union some money. He Western Union, he Western Union me $1,200. You know what I'm saying? I say, boom, I go on back to my list. You know, that was that was one person. I go back to my list, scroll some more. You know what I'm saying? Uh, find a few more people and I also hit scatter. All the time, um, by the time I got through scrolling and DMing, I end up coming up with $3,300. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, so at least I can have, you know, some more money in my pocket. Now check this out. I, I you know, I, I lay down. I lay down. Listen, when you lose a lot of money, it, it hurts you. Even though I got some money coming back, but the losing that hurt me. Um, I get a call over the intercom telling me to come downstairs. So when I come downstairs, um, the staff members are standing there and one of them is holding my wallet. So I'm like, oh my God, you know, my wallet. You know what I'm saying? So I go, I'm like, hey, I'll get this. Did I leave this down here? So the lady, she said, no, you didn't. She said, somebody just bought it to the door. You know what I'm saying? So I get it, and I start going through it, baby. Listen, my ID in there, my social security card up in there, and I'm thinking to myself, oh, it's some good people in the world. You know what I'm saying? My heart is, like, feeling good. Um, my, my my medical card up in there, um, um, some other little receipts and stuff up in there, but ain't no damn money. Ain't no money! They took all my money out of my wallet. You know what I'm saying? I was so, I was so blue. I was so blue. But at least I had my ID back. You know, um, I give my tongue thank you. You know, um, I had a little attitude. I wanted to elaborate more on on why I had this attitude about my wallet, but I didn't because I didn't want to tell these people I was outdoors thumping. You know, I go upstairs and I just turn it in for the rest of the night. I had nothing. I was done. I was done. Um, the next day I get up. And I'm going to go ahead and go on over to Ted um, funeral. You know what I'm saying? Now, you got to understand this. I haven't been able to catch the bus in 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 in, uh, in, in Pittsburgh for real. So, I go stand at a bus stop. Now, I'm going to Google these directions. They telling me what buses to get on because um, I got to go to Robinson. So, they telling me what buses to get on and everything. I go get on the bus. Now, here's the thing. When I step on this bus, it's other people on the bus. But, of course, it's a bus. It's a chick that's standing there, and she she pitching a bitch to the bus driver. You know what I'm saying? So, I wait, wait till this lady get through arguing and everything. And I, I say, you know, excuse me. You know, because I'm still standing there, and this lady, the bus driver, pulled off. And the lady thinking I'm in her business, which I'm not. I'm just trying to ask for some directions. And I'm really starting to think Pittsburgh chicks are real slow. It just is what it is. I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, I wait till she got through arguing and saying whatever she had to say or uh, her airing her grievances out to this bus drivers. And she look at me like I got a problem. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no smoke with this lady. It is what it is. Um, like I said, I wait till she got through talking. And I say, excuse me, real respectfully. To the to the bus driver, I say, can you tell me is this the right bus? You know what I'm saying? So I can get to such and such place. The bus driver say, no, this ain't the right bus. This lady say, look at this dumb bitch. She don't even know where she's going. You know what? Let me off. I, I told him, I said, you can let me off the next stop. Because I don't I don't have no, I don't, I, look, ma'am, you having a bad day. I'm just trying to get to the funeral. You know what I'm saying? Have it go, I end up getting lost. I end up getting lost. By the time I make it to Ted's funeral, um, everybody is coming out. They bringing his coffin out. You know what I'm saying? And I'm the only little black dot that's at this funeral. Everybody else is white. They looking at me. I don't know if I should go up and introduce myself. I'm not even that special. What am I introducing myself for? So I just go up inside the funeral home to try to figure out if they got a um, you know, a little a little book so I can sign a little registry book. So I can sign, I don't think it's called a registry book, but you know, to let the people know, let to let Ted know I came. You know what I'm saying? Um they the book was closed up and everything. Um I didn't even get a chance to get a obituary, but you know, I stayed in there a little moment even though his body was gone like having a little conversation with him like, "Yo, I I did my best. I tried to show up." Have it go. When I come back from the funeral, I um I go to Giant Eagle. You know what I'm saying? I'm still embarrassed. 
to go on Subway. It just is what it is because I don't want Jimmy saying anything to me because I done acted a fool. Now, I go ahead and go to Giant Eagle, grab me some stuff, and I'm walking back past Subway. I'm finna go to the center. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna cook some at the center, probably sell some plates, get my little hustle up and all this other stuff. Now, when I'm walking past Subway, uh, Jimmy come out like, hey, girl! You know what I'm saying? So, I turn around, and that's just a... It let me know she wasn't mad at me. You know what I'm saying? So I go, you know, I turn back around and I go to her. And she was like, man, come in, come in, come in. So when I go up in there, Samia's up in there. Now, Samia, you already know, that's the owner, the Miss Cookie. You know what I'm saying? Miss Gift Card, huh? She's going off. She's talking to Tom. Now, Tom is the assistant manager. He's a six-foot-one white gay guy. You know what I'm saying? Who look like Mr. Belvedere. Cool as ever, and Tom's standing there, and he's biting his nails, looking all around, because he really don't give a damn about nothing Samir is talking about, because it has nothing to do with him. You know what I'm saying? So when she look over and she see me, she, are you the same as everybody else? And I'm like, what? You know, it's like, <laughs> ma'am, I just walked through the door. I'm like, what? She, are you the same as everybody else? Um, I had one girl, she's supposed to have been starting for three weeks now. She still ain't came. Do you think you could work a full shift? I say, yeah. She, are you sure? I tell her, I say, yeah. So I look at Jamie. Jamie shaking her hair like, you know, go along with it. I say, yeah, I can work full shift. She said, good. She said, listen, I don't want any problems. She was like, I'm trying to hire you, but if you can't work, just let me know. I'm like, I can work. She said, okay, good. She go back there. She get some paperwork. She come on over to me. I fill out the applications, fill out all the, like the IRS forms, everything. And she tell me, she said, you're, you're still at the center? I say, yeah. She said, I'm going to call around there and tell them I hired you. I said, okay. She says, just one thing. I need you to work tonight. So I'm thinking to myself, like, man, I really didn't want to work tonight. But I tell her, I said, okay, cool. No problem. You know what I'm saying? She called around to the center to speak to my counselor, tell them she had hired me. They tell her that they need me to come get a form so she can fill out. I walk back around to the center, grab this form, take it back to her. She fill out this form, take it back to the center, come back around to the subway so I can start. My whole shift, I'll be closing subway every night. So I'm supposed to work to 3 to close, which is 1 p.m. during the weekdays and 3 a.m. during the weekends. This is my shift. You know what I'm saying? And right now, she got me on seven days a week. Uh, <laughs> listen, um, for the first part of the shift, and this is some real stuff, for the first part of the uh, shift, I work beside her, Jami, and Tom. You know what I'm saying? Jami and Samia, they end up leaving. So I'm stuck. I don't want to say stuck like that because Tom is still my guy to this day. Um, I'm I'm there working. Now, Tom is a whole character to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, he look like Mr. Belvedere, gay man. He talk like, hey, hi, hi. Oh, yeah. And then second and third. But when he get mad, he like, who you think you talking to? You know, so I'm seeing all his different personalities of Tom. Now, Tom has been there since open. He don't plan on working. He plan on working me. You know what I'm saying? And here's the thing. If I'm going to be the only one working, I don't need you standing over me. So I tell Tom, I say, man, I said, what you be getting into? He said, nothing. He said, I can't wait to leave here so I can go party. I said, well, you could go ahead. I was like, I know how to do this. I don't work alongside you. Me, you know, I don't. I don't need you over me. He said, are you sure? He was so happy. Normally a manager be like, you know, no, I can't do that. That's against protocol. Tom was so happy to get, listen, I can't say what I want to say, but you know how happy he was to get up out of there. Tom grabbed his stuff. He fell up out of there. He said, call me if you need me. I said, no problem. Listen, the remainder of the shift, I worked and I had absolutely no problems. Now, check this out. About 11.30, you know what I'm saying? It's so slow up in there. I'm cleaning up. I got the music on. Um, like, I got my music on, playing. I'm cleaning up. Let me go ahead and start wrapping stuff up so I can get up out of here. Now, the door opens when I got my back turned to the door. You know what I'm saying? I'm behind the counter. So, when I turn around, it's this big black dude standing in the door. Now, because everybody always talking about, you always talking about color. I have to tell you who it is now. So, if you and your feelings, kiss my butt. It is what it is. Um, It's this big black dude standing in the door. Now, what concerned me about this dude, or alarmed me, should I say it that, um, he got on a hoodie, he got on jogging pants, and he got on some L1s. And it's a chill that went through my body 
when I seen this dude. You know what I'm saying? Um, he not standing there looking like he looking at the, the signs and stuff on the wall, trying to figure out what he want. He's standing there watching me. And I'm in this restaurant by myself. You know what I'm saying? So I just knew uh uh he was getting ready to rob me. Now I gotta be honest with y'all. Um, I'm not in the habit of protecting nobody else's money. So if I'm up in an establishment and somebody come up in there um demanding money, your money is good as gone. You know what I'm saying? Your money is good as gone. And I'm thinking about like, dang, I done made like $300 in tips. I don't want him to steal that. You know what I'm saying? So I go over there to the tip jar. Um, I'm watching him. I go over to the tip jar, grab my tips up out of there, ease it in my pocket. He can have the money out the register, but he not getting my tips. Yep, call me low down dirty, say whatever you want, but it is what it is. However it go, um, I'm watching him and something in me like say something to him. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, hey, how you doing? Welcome to Subway. How may I help you? You know what I'm saying? He's just looking at me. He's just looking at me. The more he looking at me, I'm talking about my heart. My heart ain't nothing. My heart and my cool can, and it escaped through my booty hole and it's gone. It ran out the door. I'm shook. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he walk over. He walk over to one of the seats. It's four seats up against the window. It's four seats up the wall, by the wall, and it's three seats in the center. He walked to the first seat by the window and sit down, and he's just sitting there like he Michael Myers. First, he was standing there like Michael Myers, but he's sitting there like he Michael Myers, just looking at me, not saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at this boy's eyes, and it's like, it's dark. They dark, y'all. They dark. And I'm like, okay. I was like, didn't nobody show me no back door. So I don't know how to, you know what I'm saying, run and get up out of here. Like, yo, I'm scared. I'm too scared to run past him. I'm like, but he on something. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, hey, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you can't just be sitting up in here. So he leaned back in his seat and he get a little bit more comfortable. And he... You know, he's still looking at me. So I'm like, yo, this man is finna do something to me. Um, I need to call somebody around here. Listen, I'm calling the center. I get on my phone. I start dialing the center. Tell me why they not answering the phone. Like, what are y'all doing so important that y'all can't answer the phone? You know, I'm blue. And I'm waiting on them to call me back. And then something was like, call the police. Something was like, no, don't call the police. Because he going to see you dialing and talk to these people. And he going to choke you out. So I'm like, yo. Now, all the time, um, I'm trying to find me some weapons or something. Because if he come over here and, and he don't just take the register, he's trying to get me, I'm going to try to get him. You know, I'm trying to think about all this stuff in my head, all this stuff in my head. So the door opens again, and I felt relieved. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was the dark-skinned dude with the locks. You know what I'm saying? He walk in, and he see me, and he see the look on my face. He, what's up? I'm like, hey, how you doing? You know? And so I walk over there, and I'm, I'm acting scary. It is what it is. I'm acting shook. I'm acting spooked. Um, he, you okay? So I tell him, I said, no, not really. I got to be honest with you. I'm not going to fake it, pretend. I said, no, not really. He, what's wrong? So I couldn't verbally say, say what's wrong <laughs> because the dude can hear me. You know what I'm saying? So I take my eyes and I'm. So he turn around. He look at dude. He pull up his shirt. He say, you good. He got on a Nike shirt. He pull up his shirt. He say, you good. I say, man, thank you. You know what I'm saying? He say, no need. He said, let me get a, a, a roasted chicken sandwich. I said, okay. So I'll go over there to the little, the little freezer, and I pull out the chicken. I ask him what kind of bread. He tell me what kind of bread. He want a wee bread. I put it on the, uh, put the chicken on there. I said, you want cheese or anything? He said, no. Nah. He said, just toast it. I toasted it, and I gave him his sandwich. You know what I'm saying? I, ring, I didn't even want to ring it up, but I ring it up. He was like, I was like, you want anything else? He said, no, nah, that's it. He gave me $200. His sandwich was $6. He gave me $200. So I'm looking at the money, and I'm like, you gave me too much money. He was like, nah, that's for you. He was like, put it in your tip jar. He was like, I know your situation. You need it more than I do. And I'm like, thank you. You know what I'm saying? So he 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 take his food. Now I put my money in my pocket. Don't, don't get it twisted. He take his food. He go over there to a seat. He sit down in the center, but he facing dude. He pull, put his sandwich on the table. He pull his gun out, sit it on the table. And him and dude sitting there, he eating his food. You know what I'm saying? Dude watching him, he watching dude. Dude look down at that gun. Dude get up and leave up out of there. 
And he sat there, kept eating his food, kept eating his food, kept eating his food. And he, when he got through eating his food, he stood up. He was like, you good? I was like, I think so. He was like, why don't you go ahead and close the, um, close the store up? He said, and I'm going to make sure you get home tonight. You know what I'm saying? Listen, you should have seen me. I didn't count no register down. I didn't do nothing. I, food was left on the, I left everything right where it stayed. I don't care. I wasn't putting nothing up. This was too much for me. Um, I went and locked the door and I didn't want to get in the car with, I didn't want to get in the car with dude. You know what I'm saying? And he understood that. He say, which way you got to go? I said, I got to go that way. He said, I'm finna turn my car around. He said, I'm finna trail you in my car. You know what I'm saying? And I'm gonna make sure you get to where you got to go. I told him, thank you. He turned his car around in the street. And he trailed me till I got to the halfway house, which, a, which was a block and a half away. And when I got to the stairs, he said, my name JD, by the way. And he pulled off, y'all. Listen, y'all stay tuned. Be smooth.